get ready, get ready, get ready. So um, I'm just going to share a story in a minute. At the beginning, um, we teach the children about seven things that everyone does, or trees, everything that's alive can do. Does anyone know there are seven things? And we use the acronym Mrs. Gren. Yeah, okay, so Mrs. Gren, the first one, M, it means that if you're alive, you can move around. And Becky said the powerful story about being able to move around when God healed her knee. And then the R, who can help us? What does the R stand for? Respiration. It means you can breathe. <gasps> and in the COVID, we've had to be very careful, haven't we? Yeah. All the masks. Hope no one's scared. Sometimes they look a bit strange when they've got masks on. But it's to protect us so we are safe and healthy. Then, what about the S? Sensitivity. Sensitivity. It means that you can, you can respond to touch. If something touches you, there's a response. You can feel it. It means you're alive. And it goes on. Then um, the G stands for growth. And you see the children. I saw Benji the other day, and he'd grown so tall. And then I saw Zoe. I thought, oh, my gosh, they're catching up to me because I'm not very tall. Anything that's alive grows and gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And today's story, we're going to look at some trees that were growing from tiny, tiny to big and big and big. And then we've got excretion. Oh, that's a big word. What does that mean? Excretion. Oh, you can get rid of something. So when you're full of all the water and it's too much, you have to go to the toilet. <laughs> Or if you're eating all the food, all the burgers, and your body can't take it, your body uses what it can with all the vitamins and minerals, and what it doesn't need, it has to get rid of. So you don't get too big and you don't get sick. Then reproduction. Oh, another big word. Reproduction. There's a baby. That's a clue. There's a little baby there. Who can help us? Kayleen, can you help us? Thank you. You can have kids, you can have little ones. So out of the love that two people have, or the seeds that come together, a baby, a little baby seed, a baby, tiny baby is born that will grow. Then nutrition. We all need food to grow. So today's story is about trees. And a lady called Angela Hunt, um, wrote a story about the uh, three trees. And then a reverend edited it and made it a bit more, oh, well, hope nicer for children to understand and read. Are you ready? Once upon a mountaintop, there were three trees on Wooden Hill. They were discussing their hopes and their dreams, the three trees. One of the trees said, oh, when I grow up, I want to be a treasure chest. So this treasure chest can carry lots of treasure and beautiful sparkly things. That's what I want to be when I grow up. Then the next tree said, when I grow up, when I get bigger and bigger, I want to be an amazing sailing ship and carry kings and queens and important people across the oceans and across the different parts of the world. Finally, the third tree said, mm, when I grow up, I want to be the tallest tree ever. When people look at me, they will see God in the heavens. They'll be able to be pointed to the heavens where God lives. Wow. After years of waiting and praying and hoping and dreaming for their dreams to come true, <gasps> the woodcutters came. The woodmen, they came into and saw the trees. And, they, and then the trees got really excited. Finally, I'm going to be able to be what I want to be. So the first one said, <gasps> finally, I'm so excited. After the, the woodcutter started cutting the tree, 
I'm going to be that. What is he going to be? Special treasure chest. <gasps> Fuck, it's going to happen now. After they cut down the tree, the woodcutter took the wood to a carpenter. But he wasn't made into a treasure chest. Oh, everyone said, oh. Oh. He was made into a little feeding trough and put into a stable for the animals to eat from and to drink from. Oh. And the second tree was chopped down next. And he got really excited. Do you remember what does he want to be? I'm going to finally be that amazing ship. And kings and queens are going to travel on me and I'm going to take them all over the world. Wow! But, let's say but, he wasn't made into a little ship. He was made into a tiny little fishing boat. Oh, everyone say, oh. <laughs> Never mind. Then, the third tree. As the woodcutter was coming to the third tree, he said, oh, don't cut me. Remember, I want to be the one that can reach into the heavens and point everyone to God. But with one big sweep, after all the other sweeps, bang, the third tree came crashing down. Oh, Years went by, and these poor trees, thinking about their dreams, feeling a little bit sad. One day, a woman and a man came into the barn, and there, in that little, what was it? trough, the feeding trough, <gasps> they laid a baby, a beautiful baby boy, born to be the savior of the world. <gasps> the tree couldn't be a treasure chest, not the way he thought, <gasps> but he was carrying treasure, special treasure from heaven, the baby born to be king of the whole world. Wow! Wow! And then the second tree, tiny little fishing boat, what happened to him? <gasps> he wasn't a ship, but these disciples traveled with a special leader across the water to get to the other side. And when the storm started blowing and the winds were blowing, the storms was coming and it was raining, they said, wake up, wake up. He stood up. And he stretched out his hands and he said, peace, be still. <gasps> Do you know what happened? The winds and the waves obeyed him. <gasps> wow. He carried the king of the whole world across the oceans. Finally, the last tree that was chopped down. He was cut into slabs of wood and he was a bit disappointed. But he, they nailed him together. They put him piece by piece together. And he, there, as he stood there, had the savior of the whole world nailed to him as a cross. Wow. Jesus was nailed on that tree. He's like, oh! And then he rose on the third day. There was something amazing that happened. And he pointed everyone to God. So, wow. All the trees didn't have the dreams exactly the way they wanted it. It didn't happen how they wanted. But finally, everything happened just as they wanted, just in a different way. So, the meaning of the story is 
sometimes when we pray, we ask God, it doesn't always happen as quickly as we want. And we may not see it the way that we want to see it. But God, before we were born, before we were that little sapling, that little baby, God has got amazing things in store for us. And like these three trees, there are amazing things that you're going to achieve as you grow up. So children, I hope you like that story. That's you know, about Angela Hunt. She was amazing. And just for today... I want you to make a, a little boat. Sharon, thank you. Shout out to Sharon. Sharon helped me make that on Tuesday. <laughs> well done, Sharon McClutchy. You can make a little boat. And just remember, just as a, remember, a remembrance that God can help you be the best that you want to be. Remember those that traveled across that water with Jesus, and he can say, peace be still in your life. When you build that boat, maybe put like, I'm not very good at drawing. You might put stickers on there um, or draw the crown. If you're very good at drawing, draw crowns and um, people that you think that boat could carry across like Jesus and the disciples. And remember that you're special and God's got amazing things in store for you. Yeah, God bless you. I'm going to pray and then we're going to worship. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Father, that we're all special. That you love us. We're amazing. I pray that you bless each and every one, Lord, the, the children, the big children, the little children. As we approach Christmas during the season of Advent, we pray for your peace. Thank you for Becky's um, health and healing. Thank you, God, as well for um, the other lady that came here as well that shared about bringing her boyfriend. We pray that you will bring salvation and health to each and every one. And let your love be shed abroad in our hearts this Christmas. In Jesus' name, amen.